Welcome back everybody. It's time for another little package opening today. I found recently on eBay a good listing for a nice go-go lot, about 130 figures, but I really don't quite know what's going to be in this package because they only showed like maybe 20 figures out of 130. I saw some monsters, I saw some ghost guys, a couple old school, the vintage ones, the classics, a uh, few things obviously, of course, but they're all sitting in this package and I've been dying to open it up and actually look through and see what kind of a lot I actually got. Now I know there should be plenty in here that I want to collect and will want to get, uh, but what the rest is, what the other hundred or so Go-Go's that weren't shown in any of the pictures, that remains to be a mystery. So this is going to be a little kind of new experience mystery opening of the Go-Go's lot and uh, should be a lot of fun. So let's see what's inside. Let's see what we can discover into this thing. Let's get it open first, see what's inside. We got a box inside of the bag, so let's open this up now. And you're not gonna believe this, but we have a bag inside of the box. <laughs> All right, we're gonna have another box inside of this bag? Come on, oh, we have another bag inside of this bag, okay. Go Go's Crazy Bones, colorful, translucent, gold, 130 counts, glitter rare, Crazy Bones, blah, 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 blah. They don't probably know what rare is and all that. They probably just see sparkly colors and assume it's some crazy vintage thing, but we will be the judge of that. This feels like a never ending package. Holy cow. And another bag. Wow. I don't even know what. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Well, you can't say they didn't package this one well. Okay. They're all just inside here. Okay. Let's see it. Oh my goodness. Look at all these guys. Let's spill them out carefully. All right, another massive lot to kind of sort through, go through. Look at that, straight away we got a classic gold figure. Awesome, I do have this guy, but he looks to be in pretty good shape actually. Not bad, not bad. That's not a bad find right there. And look at that, we even get a silver one in here of uh, Funny, Funny Bone, Funny Bone I believe. He's pretty worn, I'll say that. Maybe a cleanup job on him, but he looks a little bit worn to a degree, a lot lighter. These are hollow, I believe, these like metal ones. But again, not, not terrible, I'll take that. I might sort really quick. I think I'm gonna sort, that way I can hone in on what we actually wanna look at. You know, I'm seeing some like sports and stuff laying around, which we I don't really care too much about those unless it's a sport related blue go Go's crazy bone and by that i mean like a blue jay but i don't think we'll be finding one of those in here i don't think we'll get that lucky oh yeah look at this we even got one of these uh bigger ones one of these bombers or one of the mega bones i believe this is just a mega isn't it i don't have a ton of these actually i want to start getting more of them but this is a nice addition just for comparison let's get this guy as you can see it's a mega nice all right i'm gonna sort i'll be right back all right, they're all sorted out as best I could here. We've got a little like chunk of sports. There's a couple over here too, but a good chunk of things, which is to be expected. Not as many from the original classic series as I would have liked, but that's okay. Tons of mutants. I love my mutants, so I'm not complaining. I think I have plenty of these guys though. Holy crap, I've got so many of those in this lot. Some notable ones, I absolutely love these pearl ones. These pearls are so cool. We got one from Buddies, one from Mutants, and then we got one of these blue pearl ones from Sports, which again, these are just super dope to look at. They look so nice. We have one single one from the uh, rebooted Series 1 series, the Modern series, which is funny. We did get a gold mutant guy here, which this is our Rambo, our fellow Rambo dude. He looks pretty nice. It looks very clean. A few from the classic series that look really nice. We've got a nice like Joker here and this nice vibrant jelly red. And you already saw the two other metal ones, but here's the other ones we actually got in the lot. We got a silver one of this guy again, the kid or something like that, I think is his name. And then our little Elvis impersonator in a gold. He's a little beat up. These gold ones are hard to keep like pristine especially if you're just keeping them in a box with a bunch of other figures. Uh, but overall, it's not the worst. I've seen worse, uh, and it's just nice to have one included. We did get lucky with one single Alien Go-Go, which is pretty funny. Just one of them. Just one. But hey, I'll take it. Give me one Alien thrown in there. Probably picked up from the things packs that were opened, I'm guessing. Then we've got our new generation and our ghosts. I'm so happy I've got like the ninja ghost, which is awesome. Now, someone please tell me, how, is it just the new gen that made these boys such thick boys? These guys are 
massive, massive boys. It's insane. This guy is sweet. I really like the look of him, but our magic go-go in this nice jelly purple looks absolutely phenomenal. He looks so good. Obviously we got a few more like of the monsters from new gen. This guy's awesome. He's almost got like a Mayan feel. I know it's a bunch of eyes, but it kind of looks like a Mayan like drawing type thing. The artwork that you'll see like on walls. He's really cool. I believe I have him. We got him in this blue as well. Again, these guys are just so chunky. This one's neat. I really like the look of this one. It's uh, kind of like a faded jelly, which is funny, but man, these guys could almost be mega bones or bombers or something like that from how massive they are. It's just insane. Like a strongman ghost, really cool. Yeah, someone's got to tell me about these. Like F52, that bold lettering. Is that, are they all like that? Let me see our magic one. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. I got to do my research on the wiki for how these are lined up because I was curious about the differences between new gen and ghost there obviously is one because the ghost series that i've opened they're a lot smaller they're like about this size they don't get much bigger than that on all of them but the new gen they just made them the beefiest of boys which is why i personally love them because i think this is a good size for the new gen really interesting we got a nice silver which obviously you just saw that one's nice this guy is so freaking cool I don't get out his deal. He's got like, looks like he's got like a bush on his head or something. I don't know, but he's pretty cool. I like him a lot. 39, 39. Got one of our scaredy ghost ones. A nice jelly again. Very good. Any other notable ones? I kind of showed off all the, all the other ghosts and stuff. Classic, just simple one. But yeah, this is our, our little pocket of the ghosts in the new gen. Not too, ta not too terrible, not too terrible. Overall, this was super fun to just get kind of like more of a mystery lot. Again, they like didn't show everything in the picture. So it was cheap enough to where I was like, frick it, 130 go-go's and I know there's some new gen and ghosts in here. I'll take it. Now, one notable one. I don't know where he's from for sure. We did get a couple nice like gold and bronze medals from the Thing series, which no big deal on those. You know, we got like another silver one here. Pretty cool. But, you know, got, what is that, TV remote or is that a cleat? No, that's cleats, aren't they? They always looked like a TV remote to me. <laughs> it just, like, right? I know it's like a cleat, like that's what it's supposed to be, right? But it's like straight up a TV remote. I don't know. Not all the things, I kind of put the things off to the side. There's some more on the sides here that you can't see, but nothing crazy or anything like that. No like Canadian exclusives. This was just kind of like a fun mystery package thing that I kind of wanted to theme the video around just to have a, a goofball time. But man, some of these mutants look real crisp. Where's the one? Yeah, again, we got that pearl, but like, look at this Frank. Look at that Frankie. Oh, sublime. I love the coloring in mutants. They really went for it. And it worked very well. Kind of similar ones to these. We got double purples. I'm going to have to start painting. I did some paintings, like some custom work on some of my mutant guys. It's been a lot of fun. No Aggies in this one, unfortunately, but that's okay. It looks like they only opened up a couple packages of the classics. And, you know, we got, we did get an Alien. We got Alien. We got a lot of really solid new gen, which I'm always happy about. Some really cool Pearl ones, a random modern series, and... Yeah, let me know what you guys think. I thought it, I thought it was a pretty good buy. I think this was uh, for 120, uh, 120 so go goes. I think I paid 20 bucks for the whole lot, free shipping. Like that's pretty good for just a fun go at it, get a few figures that you kind of want. That's good. I like that kind of deal. Works for me. I got to look up a couple of these guys, but this was a lot of fun. I love this guy. I think he'd be really fun to paint too. Honestly, <laughs> what do you guys think? Leave a comment below. Let me know. Thank you guys for watching all the way to the end of the video. If you enjoyed the little go go package opening, stay tuned for more. We've got more. I keep saying it because I keep buying and I keep getting more stuff in. I've got a couple other huge major lots that have like 500 plus go go's in it. That's going to be an insane video, pretty dedicated video, and going through and checking it all out. So if you're excited for that, hit the like button, and we will see you guys in the next one.